What's good, Washington fans? It's your boy Stax Reacts, and we back again with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute, but y'all, I'm back now. I had to handle a few things, but I am back now. We are good. And before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to Washington Football on the daily. I'm going to put the Instagram in the link below. They got all the merchandise with this shirt, this cap, everything like that. Washington Football on the daily. Like I said, it's for the Washington football team, Redskins, Commanders, yeah, whatever y'all want to say. So let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. Okay, y'all. I had to take a little bit of time about this Carson Wentz signing. I had to take a little bit of time because I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I first got the breaking news, you know, you know, Adam Schefter, he always breaking, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news comes out. They like, oh, Carson Wentz signs to the commanders, blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking at my phone like with the home alone face like, really, bro? Like, Washington, really? This is what y'all do? Y'all go and get Carson Wentz, like, Mr. Unreliable that left the that left the Eagles because the Eagles ain't want him. They got rid of they left he leaving the Colts because the Colts ain't want him. Mr. His head is all messed up. Like, I was like, bro, I was on, I was snapping. I'm not gonna lie, I was snapping. I was like, I don't want none of this shit. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to do with Carson Wentz. But, but I was like, let me think about it, man. Let me take, let me take some time and and, and absorb the situation. And I was like, let me know what we what's really going on here, okay? So, for what they said, reported from Adam Schefter, they said that we got Carson Wentz for two third round picks, and we swapped second round picks, and we took his whole entire salary, which is twenty eight million plus a five million dollar sign on bonus. So, and they said if he pays if he plays seventy percent of the uh, season, that that third round pick could turn into a second round pick for 2023, I believe. Yeah, 2023 draft, draft or whatever. So I'm like, ah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But the, 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 the main thing here, here's the, here's the main thing. Before I get into all the other quarterbacks, the main thing is, is that, okay, we're going to give him his $28 million and his $5 million bonus, right? But after at the end of the season, at the end of the season, if, we, if he doesn't produce and he doesn't do what he needs to do for the team, if we cut him or release him, we will not have any money going against us on the cap. It would be a complete zero. So if he does good, then we can, you know, extend him or keep the remaining of his contract. But if he does terrible, then we just let him go. Let him go free agency or tr try to do whatever with him. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not losing anything. So let's get to it. All right. So we lost out on Aaron Rodgers. I didn't think we would get Aaron Rodgers anyway. I ain't, I, wouldn't even, I didn't even care about Aaron Rodgers. I was like, we're not going to get him. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, you know you know this organization is bad when Russell Wilson is from Virginia area, Richmond, grew up in Richmond, everything. And he was like, nope, I don't want to go to Washington. I don't want to go to Washington. I'm not, I don't want to go there. I'm going to Denver. I'm going to Denver to play against Pat Mahomes and Justin Herbert and Derek Carr and guys like that. He chose to go play against them quarterbacks that are coming to the NFC East to play against Danny, Danny Fumbles and Jalen Bum-Ass Hurts and, and Dak, Dakota Rain Prescott. Like he would have been the best quarterback in, the, in our division if he would have came to the NFC East. But he didn't even want to come rock with us. So apparently that shows you how we how we what we looking like. So, okay, so then I was like, okay, so let me let me just break down, let me break down what the situation is, right? I looked at it. I looked at some stats. I looked at some stats. I looked up everything. And it was like, okay, Kirk Carson Wentz. When has he ever played with good receivers? Think about it, bro. You know, he they, they always talk about his head and things like that. Bro, he, he threw 27 touchdowns last year, right? He only threw four interceptions. 27 and four. That's a three to one interception. I mean, touchdown to interception ratio. To me, that's a good thing. You know, um, when he played for, when he played on the Colts, what receivers did he have? He had T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is old. He's he, he's old. He's like 34, 35, big dog. Like 34, 35. Like he ain't even, he ain't the same T.Y. Hilton back in like 2010, 2011. He ain't the same T.Y. Hilton. Then he had Pittman. I don't even know the dude's first name. I forget his last first name. But his last name Pittman. He's not even, he's not even worth talking about. Only thing they really had 
in, in, in Indianapolis, they had a good offensive line, a good defense, and a good running back. What does Washington have? A good offensive line, a good defense, a good running back. But we have better receivers. We have Terry McLaurin. We have Logan Thomas. We have Curtis Samuel if he comes back healthy. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go out and draft another receiver or we're going to end up trading for like an Allen Robinson or an Amari Cooper or something like that. Get some of our free agency, stuff like that. So we have a, we have the best receiver core that he's ever played with. When he played with the Eagles, Eagles receiver core was terrible. Trash. Garbage. So, like, so for, the thing is, if he's throwing 27 touchdowns, four to five interceptions, with that – Receiver Corey had in Indianapolis. When he come to our team, or why he's here, I think he's gonna do a lot better. Now my thing is, the thing about the thing about Carson Wentz, it's never been the talent. Everybody's know the talent's been there. The talent has always been there. Like his ceiling, he really doesn't have no ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Like when Carson Wentz is on, Carson Wentz is on. You know what I mean? He, when he played us, he tore us up. When he played us, when he was on the Eagles, he told us up, bro. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is, is this. It's his mental. Is his mental going to be correct? Is his mental going to be the right way? Because if his, if his mentality isn't there, it's not going to translate onto the field. You know what I mean? So that's just basically how I feel about Carson Wentz, man. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, when it first broke, I'm like, God damn it. God. You know, just like, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like every Washington fan. They like, God damn, Carson Wentz. Like, like that's all. That's the best you could do is Carson Wentz. Like, that's the best you could do. But look who's out there. You know, we, when we went on, we tried to get Matthew Stafford last year. We was too late to the. We was too late to the party last year. Him and the and the Rams were. They been talking. They been talking. We was too late to the party. So I can honestly feel like Washington was like, look, bro, we're not losing out on any quarterbacks. We already lost out on Russell Wilson. We already lost out on Aaron Rodgers. We cannot lose out on another quarterback again because we do not. I didn't want Teddy Bridgewater. I really didn't want Jimmy G. I didn't want Marcus Mariota. I didn't want Mitchell Trubisky. I didn't want none of them. Now, Jameis Winston, he was a toss-up. You know what I mean? He was a toss-up because he, he's coming off of ACL, so you don't know if he's going to be 100% right or not. You don't know. But Jameis Winston, I wouldn't mind Jameis Winston. I didn't mind him, but the other guys – I don't know I didn't want none of them. I didn't want none of them. But so I'm like, is Carson Wentz an upgrade from those? Yes, they are. Now, Jameis Winston, I don't know. But I think he's an upgrade from Mariota, Trubisky, all those other guys. He's, he's way more upside than that. Now, the thing now here, here's the here's the part that really is going to, you know, is going to get me. How is he going to perform against the Eagles? How is he going to perform in a locker room? Because they already said, they said he's not a great leader in the locker room. They said he's not a great leader. So is he going to be able to click with a Terry McLaurin? Is he going to be able to click with, you know, Antonio Gibson? Is he going to be able to click with Logan Thomas? And, you know, J.D. McKissick, if he bring him back to offensive line, is he going to be able to click correctly with this team? Because if he if, if, if it's off, if the, if the connection is not there and it's off, this is going to be a long season for y'all. It's going to be a long season for us. I'm not going to say y'all. Us. It's going to be a long season for us, man. It really is. You know, luckily we have a third place schedule. So our schedule is pretty favorable when it comes to us actually, you know, playing teams. Like we got the Texans. We got a lot of, you know, a lot of bullshit teams. So we should be doing pretty good. Like I said, I feel like we won seven games with Heineke and injuries and COVID. With Carson Wentz, we should be able to win at least 10. You know, at least 10. Um... Carson Wentz is a, is a significant upgrade over Taylor Haneke. Yes, we all love the story. We love, oh, the legend of Taylor Haneke, legend of Taylor Haneke. Like, we love the we love the story, but he's just a glorified backup. He is. He's just a backup. He's 5'9", five 5'10". Foot five foot I mean, being 5'10 is cool in the normal world, you know, because most women ain't really 5'10". But in the NFL, being 5'10", it ain't really it. He doesn't have a big arm, you know. It's too many times where Heineke would throw the ball and got down receiver be having a receiver or the, or the defender beat, but they have to stop and then come back and look and wait for it and everything like that. We don't need that right now. Carson Wentz has a big arm. He can make all the throws. That's what we need. So he is a significant upgrade over Heineke. Now, my thing is, let's just build around him. 
give him some more weapons, give him all the weapons that he needs, and let's see how it goes. We signed him early. We signed him early. And, you know, this how he get, he get, he get in here, get the playbook, get everything ready. OTAs, he come in here, mess with the receivers, get everything correct. So, if I had to grade, if I had to grade this signing with Carson Wentz, if I had to grade it from an A to an F, I'd give it about a D plus. You know, D plus, maybe a C minus. You know what I mean? I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the signing. I'm not happy with the signing. I'm not going to tell you that I'm happy with the signing because I'm not. But I am not disappointed because, like I said, we could have signed a Teddy Bridgewater, a Mitchell Trubisky, you know what I mean, something like that, a Marcus Mariota, people that I did not want. I did not want any of those guys. So, you know, Washington got desperate. Washington got desperate. And, you know, they was like, look, we're not losing this quarterback. We're not going to lose this quarterback. So they went and got him, you know. Two third-round picks, they really ain't too bad. So, like I said, watch the fans. You know, I had to come back. I'm back now. Like I told y'all before, I'm back now. I, I'm, I'm going to be posting more videos, more and more. I'm going to give y'all the reaction on um, how I feel about the new commander's name because, look, I had to take some time and process that too. So, like I said, let me know how y'all feel about this. Let me know how y'all feel about this signing with Carson Wentz. Uh, down in the comments below. Down in the comments below. I'm starting to do, 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 do. Down in the comments below. Like, let me know how y'all feel about this signing on Carson Wentz. Do you give it an A, a B, a C, a D, a E, a F, whatever, whatever, whatever letter y'all want to give it? Let me know in the comments below what y'all think, man. This is your boy Stacks Reacts. I'm gone.